Hello, I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be taking a look at engineering plasma accelerators. One of the most effective weapons in the galaxy, when engineered and used properly, they can deal extremely devastating damage. The only human weapon that deals absolute damage, these brutal weapons ignore resistances, attacking the base shield or hull directly. Let's look at the blueprints and experimental effects available for these impressive weapons. There are 8 blueprints and 11 experimentals available to choose from. Starting with one of the most common blueprints, Efficient, this provides for a 24% damage increase, a 48% power draw and 45% distributor draw decrease, and a thermal load reduction of 60%. The primary drawback to this blueprint is the velocity of the plasma round is unchanged, making landing these somewhat slow-moving rounds difficult. Another very common choice is Focused. This doubles the projectile velocity, making it far easier to land shots and extends the damage fall off to 4 kilometers. Armor piercing is increased by 120%, all at the cost of 5% increased thermal load. When paired with advanced plasma accelerators, this can be an extremely effective combination if your build can handle the heat. Overcharged increases the damage by a huge 70%, while increasing distributor draw 35% and thermal load 15%. This can be a good choice when only a single plasma accelerator is used. Long range also doubles the projectile velocity and increases the fall off to 7 kilometers at the cost of 15% additional power draw and 30% additional mass. Short range increases the damage output by 75% at the cost of half the effective range with damage fall off beginning at 1.75 kilometers and a 40% increase in thermal load, making this viable only for very cold running builds. Rapid Fire increases the rate of fire by 44%, while reducing the reload time by 65%, while decreasing the distributor draw by 35%. This all comes at the cost of 5% less damage and an additional half percent of jitter. Lightweight decreases the mass by 70%, while also reducing the power and distributor draw by 30%. This, however, lowers the integrity of the module by 50%, making it only viable for shield tanks. Finally, we have Sturdy, which increases the module integrity by a huge 300%, with a thermal reduction of 30% and armor piercing increase of 60% at the cost of a doubling of mass. Looking at the experimental effects, we have a staggering 11 to choose from. Starting with the likely most common, Target Lock Breaker, this behaves just as the name implies, causing your target to lose lock. While not only highly annoying, this can be an excellent counter to missile builds if you can continually hit your target preventing missile lock. Dispersal field, likely the second most common, scrambles your opponent's gimbals for 8 seconds. Phasing sequence, another popular choice, allows part of the damage to bleed through an opponent's shields causing hull damage. This comes at the cost of a 10% damage decrease and should only be used when all weapons are phasing. Dazzle Shell interferes with your target scanner, reducing its acuity upon impact, making it difficult for them to acquire you based on their range. Thermal Conduit increases damage on your target by 20% if you fire when you are above 100% heat. However, it will reduce damage by 20% if you fire when below 100% heat, making this effective if you are running a very hot build. Oversized increases damage output by 3% with an increased 5% power draw. Plasma Slug allows you to pull ammo from your ship's fuel tank rather than from a fixed amount of rounds, increasing the time you can use the weapon. This comes at the cost of a 20% damage reduction. Flow Control lowers power draw by 10% and can be effective on ships where power is at a premium such as the Vulture. Strip Down lowers the module mass by 10% where Double Braced increases the module integrity by 15%. Finally, Multi Servos increases the rate of fire, and therefore the DPS, by 3% at the cost of 5% additional power draw. Due to their ability to deal absolute damage, thereby ignoring resistances, Plasma Accelerators are one of the most common weapons used in PvP. While they are also effective in PvE combat, their low ammo levels and difficulty of use are not as well suited as some other choices. Hopefully this look at engineering will help you create a very effective combat ship and you'll be melting your opponents in no time. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. 
If you found that look at plasma accelerator engineering helpful, you should check out the other videos in my Engineering Explained series and join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creators Roundtable each Friday, and I hope you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.